Today's quest brings us to El Dorado, the city of gold. A place of unfathomable riches, it has been the object of countless expeditions, the inspiration for many tales, and a symbol of the unattainable. But where does this legend originate? How has it influenced our culture and history? And why, despite the lack of concrete evidence, does its allure endure? Our journey begins with the indigenous peoples of South America, whose ritualistic ceremonies gave birth to the legend. As we traverse the timeline, we'll encounter Spanish conquistadors, their eyes gleaming with greed, misinterpreting these rituals as tales of a golden city. Their tales, in turn, would stoke the fires of curiosity in the hearts of explorers for generations to come. We'll navigate through the myriad of real-life expeditions that sought to uncover El Dorado, from the early Spanish conquests to the more recent explorations. Notable figures have devoted their lives to this elusive city, their tales adding fuel to the enduring mystery surrounding El Dorado's existence. Our voyage will also take us through the pages of literature and across the screens of pop culture, examining how El Dorado has been portrayed in the works of Edgar Allan Poe, Sir Walter Scott, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and many others. We'll see how this city of gold has been depicted in films, TV shows, and video games, becoming a symbol of wealth, adventure, and the pursuit of the unknown. So, buckle up as we embark on this fascinating journey to unravel the mystery of the city of gold, El Dorado. Before we continue, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video if you like it. Thank you. Our journey begins with the indigenous tales of South America, where the legend of El Dorado breathes its first life. The myth of El Dorado, the city of gold, is deeply rooted in indigenous cultures of the continent. It was originally centered around a ritualistic ceremony conducted by the Musca people, an indigenous civilization in what is now Colombia. This ceremony involved their leader, the Zipa, covering himself in gold dust and diving into a sacred lake, Guatavita, to appease their deity. The Muisca's reverence for gold was deeply spiritual, a far cry from the materialistic interpretations that would follow. When Spanish conquistadors arrived in the 16th century, they were captivated by these tales of gold. In their pursuit of wealth and power, they interpreted the Muisca's symbolic rituals as evidence of an entire city made of gold. Thus, the legend of El Dorado was born. However, it was not just a city in their imagination, but a metaphor for an unattainable dream, a place of unimaginable wealth and prosperity. As more European explorers ventured into South America, the legend grew. Each new expedition brought back tales of golden cities hidden deep within the continent, fueling the imagination of those back home. These explorers played a crucial role in spreading and perpetuating the legend of El Dorado. They transformed a spiritual ritual into a symbol of greed and unfulfilled desire, a myth that captivated and tantalized the old world. But how did this transformation occur? It was a combination of cultural misunderstanding, exaggeration, and the human tendency to dream of unreachable riches. The explorers saw the gold, not as a spiritual symbol, but as a material treasure. This misinterpretation, when combined with their tales of adventure and discovery, created the enduring legend of a city of gold waiting to be discovered. Thus, a tale of ritualistic ceremonies paved the path for the legendary city of gold, El Dorado. From the pages of indigenous tales to the uncharted territories of South America, El Dorado continues to spark curiosity and adventure. The legend of a city paved with gold has inspired countless expeditions, with explorers risking life and limb in their relentless pursuit of this elusive treasure. Among the earliest seekers was the Spanish conquistador, Francisco de Orellana, who led an expedition down the Amazon River in the mid-16th century. His journey, fraught with danger and hardship, yielded no gold, but it did result in the first known navigation of the entire Amazon River. In the following centuries, the quest for El Dorado became even more audacious. The British explorer Sir Walter Raleigh embarked on two expeditions in the late 16th and early 17th centuries, convinced that El Dorado was located in the highlands of Guyana. Despite his meticulous planning and extensive resources, Raleigh's expeditions ended in failure, and he ultimately lost his life in the pursuit. Fast forward to the 20th century, when adventurers equipped with modern technology and scientific knowledge continued to chase the golden dream. Percy Fawcett, a British geographer and explorer, 
led multiple expeditions into the Amazon jungle, convinced that he would find the lost city. His final expedition in 1925 ended in mystery, with Fawcett and his team disappearing without a trace. Despite centuries of searching, no concrete evidence of El Dorado has ever been found. There are no maps, no ruins, no golden artifacts that point to the existence of a city of immeasurable wealth. Yet, the legend persists, fueled by the human desire for discovery and the allure of untold riches. The lack of tangible proof does not deter the hopeful and the adventurous. If anything, it adds to the enigma of El Dorado, making it a symbol of the unattainable, the ultimate prize for those daring enough to venture into the unknown. El Dorado, a city of gold, remains elusive, adding to its enduring mystery and allure. Beyond the jungles and riverbanks of South America, El Dorado finds a home in the pages of literature and frames of pop culture. In the realm of literature, the allure of El Dorado has proven irresistible to authors across the ages. Edgar Allan Poe, the master of macabre, painted a vision of El Dorado as a place of eternal joy and youth in his poem of the same name. Sir Walter Scott, in his epic poem, Maddock, wrote about the futile search for the Golden City, reflecting the unending human quest for wealth and glory. In the 20th century, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, a Nobel laureate, weaved the legend into his magical realism. In his novel, 100 Years of Solitude, the city of Macondo echoes El Dorado, a place of immeasurable wealth, doomed by its own excesses. As we move on to the screen, El Dorado continues to spark imagination. In the realm of cinema, the City of Gold has been the backdrop for swashbuckling adventures and epic quests. From the animated charm of The Road to El Dorado, which chronicles the comedic exploits of two luckless conmen, to the gritty realism of Agir, The Wrath of God, a cinematic masterpiece that portrays the destructive obsession with El Dorado, the Golden City lives on. And lest we forget, El Dorado has also found its place in the digital universe of video games. Titles like Uncharted Golden Abyss and El Dorado Quest allow players to embark on their own quests for the fabled city, navigating treacherous terrains and solving intricate puzzles. The enduring fascination with El Dorado lies not just in its promise of boundless wealth, but also in the thrill of the chase, the adventure, the journey into the unknown. It's a symbol of human ambition, a testament to our insatiable curiosity, our yearning to explore, discover and conquer. The legend of El Dorado thus transcends boundaries, capturing imaginations far and wide. The legend of El Dorado, however, isn't confined to tales and treasures. It echoes in our perceptions, culture and history. This fabled city of gold has shaped our understanding of exploration, conquest and wealth. It presents a paradox, a mirage of unreachable riches that has spurred countless expeditions and quests. The allure of El Dorado has become synonymous with the human yearning for discovery and the relentless pursuit of the unattainable. Moreover, the legend has etched a lasting influence on modern-day tourism and the economy. Regions associated with the myth have become hotspots for adventure seekers and history buffs, infusing local economies with new opportunities. Whether it's trekking through the Andean mountains or navigating the Amazonian rivers, the quest for El Dorado continues to draw people from all walks of life. The legend of El Dorado thus continues to glitter not just as a city of gold, but as a symbol of unending fascination and exploration. As our journey concludes, we find that the allure of El Dorado isn't just in its golden walls, but in the stories it has inspired. From its origins in indigenous ritualistic ceremonies, the legend was spun into a city of gold by early European explorers. These tales fueled real-life expeditions and searches, yet the city remains elusive. El Dorado has also left its mark in literature and pop culture, embodying the human fascination with wealth, adventure, and the pursuit of the unknown. Moreover, its influence goes beyond mere tales. It has shaped our understanding of exploration, conquest, and wealth, and significantly impacted perceptions of South America and its indigenous cultures. It even reverberates in modern-day tourism and the economy of regions associated with the legend. So what are your thoughts on El Dorado? How has this legend shaped your perspective? Follow Mythomaniac Legends Alive for more videos about myths and legends from all around the globe. Join us again as we delve deeper into myths and legends. We're getting better with time and hope you enjoy our videos. Thanks for all the support.
Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning.